tonight we're doing our top five horror themes those theme songs that are just iconic to certain horror films that you just know and love so i'm sure we're gonna have a lot of overlapping i would i would assume we would <laughs> top five horror themes so there's some in the chat my number five of course it's got to be on here because it was the iconic horror theme to start all horror themes my number five psycho Fuck. Mm. That's my number five, bro. Psycho is my number five. Now you hear Get that song? You... <laughs> Something tells me I should have made it five. <laughs> number five for me is Jaws. Jaws is very significant. Oh, Jaws is on my list. It's coming. Uh, I mean, Jaws is like. I mean, you just hear, heard that as a kid. You were like, fuck, man. I ain't going in the water now. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> number five for Bill Nightmare on Elm Street. Good one. Shit. shit. Yeah, every choice is going to be a carpenter score. I know. But well, we did. We did our <laughs> top five carpenter scores. Didn't we do that? I know we did. We did. Didn't we do when um when you when um Jeff don't Jeremy steal was on thunder, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jeff's number five. Yeah, with Joy's right there with you. Yeah. There you go, bud. Oh yeah. Okay. Hey, what's up, Travis? Psycho three, Exorcist, Halloween two, Predator, and Saw. Wow, very nice. Why am I trying to blank on this on the on the on the Saw theme? God, the Predator theme is so good, Travis. Good stuff, dude. Oh, oh dude. man. Oh, <laughs> well, we got here. Oh, okay, so yeah. I so had that, for a little bit with my son this morning for Dylan, you son of a bitch. <laughs> She's your baggage. You fall behind, and you're on your own. I'm surprised you didn't name your son Dylan, so you could just yell at him and say, Dylan, you son of a bitch. <laughs> could you imagine? He's got the shirt that says it, though. <laughs> you saw, does he? When we met Carl Weathers, I took him with me. Yeah, he he. Oh, right. I remember the picture. You have a picture of it. You showed me the I picture. I showed him at such a young age that part. He thought it was the funniest shit in the world. And then now you don't even remember from. He doesn't remember him from Predator or Apollo Creed. He remembers him as Chubbs Peterson who loses his freaking hand. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. How's that? OG Nightmare on Elm Street, Suspiria, Christian, Halloween Three, Halloween One, and Fuck Two Joint. Gonna take these off. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, I just sort of like did the whole broad spectrum of like you know because obviously there's the theme for movies and they alternate, especially with Halloween, how they fluctuate a little bit. So I just did a broad based thing here. So yeah. my number two, my number four, uh, is iconic as hell. Tubular Bells, The Exorcist. Wow, fuck that yeah, fucking movie yeah. and fuck that sound. Fuck that shit. <laughs> I thought you were about to say, fuck your couch. I'm not going to say it. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm, hey, you guys, I'm, I'm going home. I fucking hate that <laughs> shit with a passion. Fuck your couch. All oh, that fucking fuck, fuck that shit. No, thank you. No. That was good. <laughs> Ooh, okay, good one. No, wait, Joe, you had number four? Did you do number four? Nice white shit. Uh, no, There's a lot of creepy shit in that uh, movie. <laughs> I I felt I felt like I had to put this in there because uh, we got another movie coming out soon in September. So I'm gonna do the theme, The Beetlejuice, by Danny Elfman. That's yeah, got to be my number four, good. man. Dude, good stuff. Yeah, that is just we all you know it. As soon as you hear it, you're like, huh, dun, 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 like you know that's that's so iconic, so iconic in so many different ways. So yeah, that's my number four, Beetlejuice. Oh, oh, oh. 88, baby. We got. This is our sweep here, Psycho number four. So that's our first one we all had on there, Psycho baby. Yeah, nice, absolutely. Oh, so good, fucking scary oh, still to this day. Scary, very scary. Still scary. Whee. Even yeah, all the different riffs of the Psycho soundtrack or the Psycho score, very good. Yeah. And, all sure. right, number number three. I'm going right there with uh, our good buddy Jeff. My number three, the oh. fog. I would have thought this would have been Halloween for Pat. Wow. <laughs> Gee, I wonder what Pat's going to put on Halloween. The suspense is killing us. I can feel the suspense growing. <laughs> it's growing. Uh, yeah, the That's fog. Awesome. I just love the fog. It's just great. Well, it's just a creepy, eerie soundtrack just that just gives so Carpenter, especially that's another one where Carpenter's soundtrack makes that movie so much more creepier than it actually is. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, but for yeah. me, number three is the fog. Betty, Betty, nice. What do you got no, there, Betty? That's, uh, that's very offensive. Your number three. Bill. What are you doing, Bill? 
Ah, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> he said that's very offensive. What are you what are you doing? Knock it off. Quit cut it out. Hey, that's like cut that's, it that's, out. That's cut castration out. right now, isn't that, Pat? That's castration. <laughs> I'm so upset, Pat. You and I are doing the next <laughs> Tales from Dark Side episode camping. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> camping. <laughs> Killer, so oh, Killer Clouds from Outer Space by the Dickies. Look at you digging deep. It's time to That's get right a good the night. One. Yeah, the Dickies. Oh, very nice. I like that. This Maniac guy. Cops is pretty memorable. Choir Voices. Oh, God, I don't remember the soundtrack. Be truth. I haven't watched Maniac Cop in a dog's age. You know, we should probably know. revisit those, especially even the third one's still not bad. The first two, the second one, I remember really liking. Yeah. Yeah. So I should read Child's cool. Play and Poltergeist. They both had the choir of the children singing. Oh good, yeah, good Dude, stuff. The fucking ending to Child's Play? Nah, fuck that. No, thank you. Like, oh, oh, in the woods. Oh. <laughs> Look at Bill's <laughs> oh, he's pissed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dude, shit in the woods. Bill and I are going to be laughing so hard at flashback in a couple weeks. Oh, God. oh, you guys, I know. I'll be getting drunk calls. I better get a drunk uh, call from you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Reanimator, re re nice, yeah. That's been shit in uh, wizard, Jack. What was your number three, uh, Brady? My number three. I, I think you and I talked about it, Pat, because I was asking if we ever did our favorite openings in horror, and a lot of it is the music of the opening of the first Nightmare on Elm Street when he's creating the glove. I, oh, I don't yeah. think everybody talks about that movie. They, they don't talk about that opening nearly as much to me. That opening is so damn effective when yep. he's creating that glove. It's so yep. cool. I love it. So, anyways, the Nightmare on Elm Street theme, man. For that. Liam, right yeah. I like that. Fright Night soundtrack. Very nice. Oh, my God. Good stuff. I, yeah. Very oh, nice. She's a spear, help me three. Christine, help me three. Honorable mention is one of the dead. Deep Red Psycho, The Fog, Terminator, Exorcist, and Zombie. Nice. Look at that. You guys are throwing some good ones out here. So, we got uh, what, number two. This number two, this one I had to put on here because it always creeped me out as a kid when I first saw this film, and even now, it just I don't know, just always creeped me out. But the theme to uh, Amityville Horror. Oh yeah, because that just fucking it, right now, it, it like ugh, just creeps the shit out of me. They kind of used that. I had done a watch along of Clifford with Martin Short. They kind of did that for Clifford's music a little bit. I started laughing. Oh, I got a good story about Clifford. I've been on a kick where I've been, I don't know, on the way to work, I usually put something on YouTube. And somehow I got, and I've been, uh, God, just going through tons and tons of. Your uh, algorithm came up with that? It's like, no, Cisco and Ebert. <laughs> like, Cisco and Ebert best and worst of episodes. And they just totally destroyed Clifford. <laughs> just ripped it apart. <laughs> Dude, that is right, a thought of you. pleasure and a half, Pat. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't expect other people to like it, but I, it, oh, God. The, the, the gremlin was... rag from Gremlins. Nice. <laughs> you know what? And Pat, so obviously we, we'll talk number one. I, how about at the Halloween 3, uh, the main opening music? That's Cherry to Pumpkin. Yeah. 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 I was... I was just trying to keep to like each specific franchise because I, I, I could have just did five Halloweens easy, obviously. So, oh, yeah, just fuck God. yeah. Try that for me, my, That was a runner up my, for me. My next choice is going to be a little out of left field, but I think you're going to appreciate it, guys. What do you got? Oh shit! Are we? Which one are we on? Number Ghost two. Ghost. Ghost. Okay. Oh, it's my turn. See. Oh shit! All right. Um, so I, it's not a movie, so I'm sorry. It's a fucking series or whatever you want to call it. Um, unsolved fucking mysteries. Oh, okay. it's so good. <laughs> it's so oh good. Oh my God. As it, cause this show would come on late at night after the news on TV and that fucking intro would come on. And then you had this creepy son of a bitch come on tonight on unsolved mysteries. You know, that Robert, was the worst yeah. intro that was the worst intro for me as a kid. It was terrifying, bro. Fuck that show. So, yeah, Unsolved Mysteries, man. It was like, uh, remember when they solved one? It was like the breaking news, like, post. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Or, or at the end, he's like, some may not know, 
or ever know if he will ever get caught or some shit like some killer that's on the loose and shit. You're like, what the fuck? I don't want to go to sleep. Like this dude did could be ever, down the street. Did you like where he started throwing f bombs as the character in basketball? Did you see that? <laughs> oh yeah, hey dude, Man, yes, he was in basketball. He that's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go, Travis. Woo, 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 woo. The fucking All the goosebumps, goosebumps theme. theme. <laughs> do, 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 but the funny thing is, oh, every time I, TV every time TV. I see Robert Stack. Even when I used to watch that show, <laughs> all I kept seeing was him in an in, in airplane. Hey, you. Get your finger oh, yeah. out of your ear. You don't know where that's been. <laughs> Better than Caddyshack 2, though, Pat, right? <laughs> yes. Man. Hey, but you, Joe brings up the TV themes. God, I probably – Tales from the Dark Side, like we've been hearing it a lot. Oh, no. Don't, even, <laughs> I, I, don't spoil that. Let's save that for a top five. Let's save that. I'm going to write that down. Oh, yeah. Okay. TV. Yeah, you're right. Let's go there. Hey, top uh, best top five horror series or something like that. Something with horror themes or whatever. Yeah. Oh, so we're at number two. Yeah, my number two is The Fog. So effective. Carpenter Love. You know, just Carpenter Very Love. Nice. Just John Carpenter. Creepy ass shit. Freaked me out when I was a kid. <laughs> Ghost stories. Eleven. Very nice. <laughs> with this one, Very special nice. once bitten by three speed from the eighty-five Jim Carrey movie. This song was played when Mark in the city and oh. played during the end credits. Oh, I know the movie, but I don't remember that. I have to go back and listen to it. So is this true? So Howith is, pl- is performing? Three- yeah. I'm really oh. I'm really trying to talk the brother into wanting to go to that because it's part of the admission. Cool. Oh, oh, yeah. I'd love to see oh. that. That's uh, see that. Trilogy would be The Omen. Yeah, The Omen. Uh, we could do some honorable mentions. That's definitely one of them. Oh, yeah. Um, Twilight Zone. Yeah, another one. Theme of Tales from Tales- the Crypt. Tales from the Crypt is awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good hey, evening, my friend. ghoulies. Well, all ran, uh, Travis is Randy Quaid giving Robert Stack a wedgie. <laughs> so I put him with that crammed up your crack. <laughs> H1, The Shining, oh, H3, good. Jaws. It's just all classics. Nice. So, gee, I wonder what Pat's number one is. I wonder. I wonder. This I mean, could be on. a sweep. <laughs> I yeah. would think I don't know. I, I guess, is it a sweep? I would hope so. It's a sweep. Yes. Yeah, you sweep. can't touch the iconic carpenter score. Sorry. I mean, sweep. so many iconic ones that we just talked about, classic. But I mean, come on. How many times you're out somewhere and somebody's phone rings and it, it's playing the freaking Halloween yeah. theme? I mean, come on. I, sh- yeah, I should have just messaged you. We should have just set our top four because we already know what our number one is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. No yeah. mystery here. Yeah. <laughs> For me, it was H1 and H2 combined. Yeah, Alan Howarth. I mean, H2 the synth gave it such a more creepy atmosphere when it in with Howarth in part two. Yeah, the, the high Absolutely. pitches of Halloween 2 makes it very effective. Yes, yes. very, 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 very effective. Like the oh. synth organy sound and the, like the pipes. Good shit. So good. Fuck. The thing. Oh, look YouTube. at that. The thing. I can see that, Colin. Things very effective. Oh, yeah. It's creepy. Boom, boom. Oh, believe me, one of my favorite soundtracks is um, Escape from New York, but I don't really consider it a horror movie, so I didn't want to throw that on there. I just put that on all the time and just listen to that intro. I just love that. Bill's number one, Tubular Bells. Yeah. It's creepy yeah, as hell. It's effective, The Exorcist, right? It's like. One of the favorite horror themes is a scene to the original Blob. The original Blob. Oh, God, I haven't watched this song. I don't remember the song. I got to go back and check it out. I don't remember the I was going to watch the remake the other day I because I really like the remake. It was on Pluto the other day. And, uh, I flicked it on just for a minute, and I could, but I had something to do. I had to get up. I, I wanted to finish watching this. I'm like, wow, I haven't watched the original. You know, Matt Dillon, Shawnee Smith, the young Shawnee Smith. Sexy. Man. That's Definitely. Matt Dillon or the other Dillon? Is it Kevin Dillon? Uh, it's um, Kevin Dillon. We should Kevin. really go back from, and watch that. It's from the Blob. Sort of we can do that from from the blob. The blob. Yeah, we definitely uh, we should definitely do a top five. Uh, we'll do a top five TV uh, horror themes. But that is our top five horror themes. Throw some more in the chat if you want. Throw some of the comments below, right below Brady. Fun awesome. shit. Did somebody say Gremlins? Somebody said Gremlins in the chat. Gremlins did, is yep. good. Not entirely horror, yeah. but let's say it anyway. Jurassic Park. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's on the border. Thriller, I guess if you call it that. 
Thank you for watching That Horror Movie Podcast Top 5 Ranking. We do a Top 5 Ranking every Sunday night live on That Horror Movie Podcast, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, live on this channel. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, get all the notifications. When we go live, we go live every Sunday, and we go live every Tuesday for watch-alongs, and sporadically here and there, and all sorts of other videos along the way. So if you like music, comedy, horror, any of that stuff, this is the place to be. Keep coming back and watching our top fives.